I think, Michael. Oh my God. What do you think? It's amazing. It's awesome. Yes. Brother, brother. Awesome, brother. I love it. It's amazing. Awesome, man. <laughs> brother, how you doing? Good. Awesome. Came in a basket case and absolutely Is this really a, a 50s bike? That's your bike, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I know. Really? We kept saying we've said that so many times around here. I, I think it might be one of the favorite the garage bike. Oh, black and red. Black and red. Your red's your color. It, it, the sparkles go that goes through it. I share it. This is actually unbelievable. It really is. What we originally talked about with the paint was to match the rims on the sides. But everything was just gonna blend. So what I did is there's actually a silver fade. So yep. it's, it's right here and it fades to a darker silver. I see it. That way the red separates wow. where it does match is in the lead. That way the wheels stand out because that's that's what that's what the bike came with. You know, it showed up with these yeah. beautiful candy red wheels. I, I'm flabbergasted, I really am. Like, I think this thing is amazing. It's the feelings I have that I'm feeling right now, thinking this thing would never be done and it's done right now, is yeah. crazy. It's it's crazy to me. I feel you. And we left the, the, the fishtails were, the fish tails yeah, like, were great. They had yeah. to be there and they're still there. Well, I mean, it, that's the, the general, the, 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 the general way the sun lines is, of the bike was yeah. there. So the, the frame, that's the original frame, we had it all sandblasted, ground all the welds, cleaned them up, repaired a lot of welds on it, and re-powder coated the frame. So the, the frame is rock solid powder coat. The front end, we also did the same thing and had it powder coated, but I sanded it down because powder coat sometimes doesn't have the best quality yeah. finish on it. So we sanded it down, pinstriped everything, and re-cleared and polished all that stuff. So the whole front end, you know, is, is like a piece of jewelry. The split tanks, those were a breeze. The front fender, that's a newer, uh, later model front fender, that was a breeze. That back fender kicked our ass 10 ways to Sunday. <laughs> I, I was so close to like, hey, can we just yeah. weld this fender up or just get another one? Because those hinge back fenders, and it only takes once. One wrong move, yeah. and it's back to the paint shop. <laughs> but it's going to do what it's going to do. I mean, that's why they're, they're the hinge back fenders. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, it would have ruined the look if I welded it. The, the brakes, the calipers, mm -hmm. everything was awesome. I just matched the front caliper to like the, the year and whatnot as because the, the lower legs were that year anyway of yeah. the caliper. So it just, you know, it just told me what it needed. <laughs> it is not a basket case anymore. No. It is not a rat bike anymore. <laughs> Please take this to the bike show oh, and, and let them yeah. know, you know, who did it oh, and you know and yeah. clean their clocks, man. <laughs> Ryan, you put a cross on it. Of course they I did. already know, I know who did it. I know. Uh, the way the sun hits it from all directions. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to show this thing. They're gonna have a million and one questions for you, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> You want to hear this thing? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You're going to have to find your own way of starting her, so. I, I have a 46 flathead. <laughs> oh, you know. You know. You're already So know. this thing's bone cold. I didn't I didn't touch it. So I, I basically, I retard the distributor all the way back because it's a super E carburetor. It's got an accelerator pump. I just give it four or five squirts, cycle it. Good. Actually, just you know, yeah, you fit mm -hmm. on it. It fits nice. Fits nice. Fits nice. I love it. I mean, as the same seat, we just uh, messed with the springs a little bit, made it a little more uh, user friendly to say. It's the same bike, but it's just what it needs to be. It's crazy. I love it. You guys, you guys did a great job, man. Thanks for bringing it to us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you guys outdid yourself on this one. You really did. It's awesome. We try. We try hard. I know. <laughs> every bike. <laughs> every yeah, you know what? I thought I threw you a little bit of a curveball here with mm -hmm. this one. I originally wanted to do it myself, and I was just like, I'm never gonna get this thing done. You're welcome for Thank not you. not making yourself do this yourself man i'm telling you right now you would have hated it you would have hated it we would have bought it off you. <laughs> yeah yeah we've just put like the red on the springs for the clutch and then the red plug wires and stuff so it, 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 everything everything about it pops 
everything about it. It's just like, it's, it's more than I expected, yeah, hands so down. The springs are all Cerakoted uh, underneath of the fenders. Are, they're all bed lined. I've been on a real solid kick of uh, rust prevention, you know, on, on the bikes as well as the cars, so. And the rims, it's just like, I can't, I can't believe just how, how awesome it actually looks and everything, you know, still being what it needs to be, but still perfect. I mean, it's hard to match any paint in the sense of, uh, like, if he hasn't got it in his booklet. So these wheels, he had to get as close as he could with it. And I'm like, how are you going to do that? He said, just watch. My thing was the wheels are so bright red that I didn't want the whole profile of the bike to disappear. And all you see is the bright red. I wanted you to see the wheels separated from the fenders. But that's what we had talked about was matching the red. So yeah. That's why I matched the red it actually has a silver fade here down. And then with the leaf, that's the match I, of the red. What blows my mind besides the mechanical end of it, which is, is fabulous, is the way every time you walk around the bike, it sort of looks a little different in the mm -hmm. sun. Yeah. From one side to the next, the it's just like... The fades like, mess with you, the fades. Yeah. It's amazing, it really is. That's the candy, that, that candy and the, and the leafing. Wow. I can't wait to actually uh, get it in my garage and uh, ride it and show it, man. Right. Be proud of this thing. You guys did a great job. Awesome. There's one of the reasons I put red on it. It was because of him. I almost thought about going blue for autism awareness, because yeah, but I knew his favorite color was red. I put the red on the bike. It was besides having the ribs already being red, but my son's favorite color is red. And nice. you know, and everything about everything I do is all about Mikey. It's amazing. Can you describe it for me? It's brave, strong, and determined to be one of the most powerful and efficient motorcycles in the big universe. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's Mikey. All right, far more creative than I am. Yeah. <laughs> I think about it. Perfect.